What a relationship they have struck up over the last four years. Savannah Marshall, who had confidence issues. She wasn't sure where her boxing career, amateur and pro, were going. But the uh, union with Peter Fury has been fabulous. And she seems like a different person, not just a different fighter. Now, she starts to really push Fekki Herman's back, who switches southpaw. She wants to apply the pressure here, nice and early. Well, we hear Peter say in the corner, I think you might have missed that, I've heard Blake that, you know, you, now you've found your range, now go go step behind it and add your, add your backhand to it, and she'll, she'll come forward, and she knows what she's going to do, she knows how she's going to react, and she'll just, yeah, I think she'll put a bit more power behind the shots that she puts out now. She's light on her feet still, Frankie Hermans, getting the jab home. And the right good, hand as well. Yeah, good right hand there, good hand speed, good accuracy from Hermans, good right hand though from Marshall, big shot. Meteor looking shot from Savannah Marshall, this is the round that she dealt with Lolita Mazea. She has a first round knockout, four second round knockouts and two third round KOs on the slate, that's incredible. Hermans is fast with that right hand counter, so, you know, Savannah with the left hand low, she's got to watch out for that right hand counter from Hermans. Not overawed in any way here, K.K. Hermans. Switching it out. Just trying to be a moving target. Yeah, you can see Sav switching south for just trying to build a different... Marshall. And the game switches herself. Hermans gets a combination in. Fast right hand counter from Hermans. She landed a couple of those in that round, so Savannah can't afford to switch off. Those first couple three. of rounds, and then Peter seemed to sort of coax her through those early minutes, and she just grew in confidence, didn't she? And delivered what was one of the great performances of that year. Yeah, she really stepped up to the plate with that performance. Hannah Rankin behind us tonight, working for radio, and you're targeting her, <laughs> Tasha. Small world, this. It is, it's a small boxing world, a boxing fraternity. Great fights to be made. But this one, this WBO middleweight title defense, the third one for Savannah Marshall in the red and white. And the black, white and gold of Becky Hermans from Belgium, who's really starting to open up that Marshall does hit so hard. And Hermans is not afraid at all. No, she's not overawed. She's quick. She fires back with the counters every time. Really going for this here, Femke Hermans. You know, she's European champion, she's a proud champion, she's a former world champion as well, so she's not overawed at all. She's quick firing back with these counters. She's been very confident all week. Femke Hermans can be a bit flat footed, and if she's open to one of those big bombs from Marshall. Sav's so, so just not given her any space. She turns South Fork over past the Orthodox just to close the space down and, and I'm not giving a second like she's just done there so... body shot from Marshall just trying to slow the 32 year old down a couple of years younger Hartlepool Savannah Marshall she's just comfortable in wherever she goes whether that's southpaw or not 
She never had an amateur, used to switch at all. But now you can just see where whichever foot she lets she lands on, oh, whichever way she's standing. Good great shot, shot over the top. Lost her balance a bit. Benke Herman's oh, with Clarissa Shields and to find an ending a finish in the way she did that was some message talk us through it Tash it was, it, I mean as did Hannah Rankin go the distance with Clarissa and you can see there was a shot just before this that, that knocked it off balance but then you, you see when, when this one lands it was just it, it was a hook and, and she, this was Sab's night to make a big statement, and that is a huge statement. I mean, that was a stiff jab there, wasn't it? That was a ramrod jab that backed her into the corner of this. You see her roll underneath here now, and uh, which, yeah, she both came back with the left hook, but Savannah beat her to the punch. She didn't see the shot. And, yeah, that, I mean, that's a bad knockout. You see it here, both of them throwing left hooks at the same time, but Savannah beats her to it. And you can see Sab, as soon as, as, as that knockout goes and the ref waves it off, she goes right over to Clarissa to say, you're next. We know about her right hand, how about the Susie Q, the left hook tonight, and the summer sizzler with Clarissa Shields is well and truly on. Savannah Marshall sparkles again, and there is the respect with another knockout win number 10 12 and 0 and still the wbo middleweight champion what an extraordinary vein of form she's in ladies and gentlemen at the very last second of round number three this contest came to a halt in favor of your winner by knockout and still your WBO middleweight champion of the world, Savannah Marshall! 
The silent assassin is silencing anyone that doubted her. A brilliant amateur. And there's the Olympic gold and bronze medalist Lauren Price and Karis Artingstall. And they know how good Savannah Marshall is with Peter Fury, the custodian, the trainer. He's almost like an uncle, a father figure. He deserves so much credit. Savannah Marshall has blossomed. And she now stands as a revered and feared world champion. Andy will talk to her after the break.